Nigeria, what did they happen to us? What did they really happen then? When I saw the news since I'm a few rest now, so what are they come off my head? You just take seven people life. Seven people. Now you waste like that. Policemen, um, um, ordinary Nigerians, you just waste their life. So they'll just pay you to just assassinate person. You go re go do. Nigeria will take her easy. Apostle Johnson Suleiman just escaped assassin attack. For that who she wrote there. I think it's painful. It's painful. Now finally, Apostle Johnson Suleiman will come out go talk. He said you're not gonna understand this thing. This thing, he said this thing starts since 2017. Now this matter starts. He said they don't do different things. They don't like this time, different things. The sister still they go on. And they say, okay, the next thing that to take it life. Now be this one. Now be this one. Now only using math, they talk up. May the soul of those seven people will not die. Rest in peace. But you, when you do that movement, your heart not a break yourself. Your chest not they worry you. How you they feel when you the year for every year and I see seven people don't die? By your own bullet. By your own gun. By your own hand when you depress her. How you they feel? I don't want to talk too much. Listening to waiting Apostle John C. Suleiman talk immediately after the assassin attack. Since 2017, there are certain things that have been happening that I've been quiet about. Even if you are the most careless person on earth, you will not give yourself to so much scandals. There are things people don't know. Even though one or two people along the line took advantage of that to just come out and say one or two things. But the reason I'm coming out to speak now is because they've done all that and discovered that I'm still moving on. They decided to make attempts on my life. I just escaped an assassination attempt where seven people were killed. My car was attacked, opened fire on my car. And kept spraying it with bullets my wife and my kids were there the escort car with some police they killed the policeman they killed the other people the other escort car the buses with us seven people we are all moving the convoy we are killed people who did this are expecting me to come out mention their names so they'll come out and deny i won't do that but the truth of the matter is this you can't kill me my life is in the hand of god i'm a man of god and those who are among those attacking me you are building on what you don't understand. You may have joined into the fora because you want to chase clout, but you don't know where the fight started from. There are things you don't understand. You don't have an idea of the beginning of what happened 2017. The people who are behind it. You may come and you are doing your own thing, but it's beyond what you are thinking. I'm alive for those who have been calling and all that. I'm well. Family is fine. I feel bad for the lives that have been taken. We are mourning. But Jesus is Lord. And for all those who they killed, may they also rest in peace. And for the young men who opened fire and kept wasting people, I won't take your life. But the seed that you sow, you will reap it. I want Nigerians to know that a coordinated lie swallows an uncoordinated truth. With time, the truth will come out.